Hi, and thank you for watching. This is a very important video as the information presented in this may apply to today, April 27th, 2022. Russia's foreign minister openly talked about the risk of World War III in an interview on Monday, April 25th. It was also stated that Russia sees NATO countries that supply Ukraine with weapons as valid targets that it can attack. Following these two articles, Germany has now stated that it will supply 50 tanks to Ukraine, and I believe this provides a valid reason in the eyes of the world for Germany to become a valid target in light of what we have read in these articles. From a predictive programming perspective, we have known that our enemy's plan for a second 9-11 has been to attack Berlin for many, many years, and this has been shown to us in several instances through the entertainment industry, which is one of the major platforms through which the enemy informs humanity of its plans before they are executed. One example that would seem to point out today, April 27th, is a 40 second video that features Prince Harry and the Queen and Barack Obama and an entourage. This is also linked to the iPad Go 2 animation that I have discussed on many occasions. In this video clip, Prince Harry discusses the Invictus Games with the Queen in 2016, and you will see the I Am, which is a focal point in this video. The only true I Am is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and using his name in this way is not only blasphemous, but also indicative of an antichrist spirit that is at work and positioning itself in the place of God. In this video they discuss the Invictus Games which ran from April 12th to 16th this year, but the dates back in 2016 when this video was made was May 8th to May 12th. Very important dates in the context of 2022. Prince Harry then shows a picture to the Queen in which very interesting numbers are shown, 239 and 322, with the 322 being shown in reverse. What are the chances of those two numbers, which we have so often seen in predictive programming, being there by chance? I believe this is a deliberate message to the masses of the plan that the globalists intend to carry out, and they are telling us their intent by using these numbers that are so often associated with predictive programming. Prince Harry then opens a message that he received from the Obamas and shows a very specific date and time, Wednesday, April 27th at 1815 London time. Wednesday, April 27th also happens to be today's date in 2022 when this video was published. Next, Obama tells them to be careful what they wish for, and the officer in the background then shows a bomb being dropped, with the other two officers then turning into what would seem to be zombies. The Queen and Harry then twice confirm what was said by the Obama entourage, with Harry showing once again the bomb being dropped. The same message is also shown to us in the iPetco 2 animation, where we see stealth bombers with the shapes of squares and compasses about to attack a target. Under the wings of the stealth bombers you will see a number of lights, once again representing the number of the Skull and Bone Society, or 322, and these being shown in reverse, just as with the picture shown to the Queen. This is something that our enemy often likes to do, and that is to do or show things in reverse. In the iPetco 2 animation, the bomb that is dropped leads to the release of ten black birds, or if we compare that to what is written in the Bible, the ten kings mentioned in the books of Daniel and Revelation, that will rule over the world with the Antichrist. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise, and another shall rise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. I believe the window between today and May 16th could be very eventful for those who have been watching with me for many years. There have been so many prophecies that have been fulfilled over the past five years, many more than in any other time since Jesus ascended into heaven. And many of the events happening in the world right now would seem to point to even more prophecies about to be fulfilled. Many of the events happening in the world right now would seem to indicate that the tribulation is about to start, or that the rider of the red horse that we read about in Revelation is about to receive his great sword. Something that our Heavenly Father has laid on my heart over the past week or so is the fact that we often think incorrectly when it comes to biblical matters. Two passages in which he pointed this out to me and that are directly associated with the rider of the red horse in Revelation are the following. 
Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And who is the recipient of the sword that Jesus speaks of in Matthew 10? Revelation 6 provides the answer. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. The final question that we have to ask is this. When does the rider of the red horse receive his great sword? after being shown not having a sword yet in the description of it in Zechariah 1. It happens when Jesus returns for those who are waiting for him. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Here are some of the current events that I see as very important and telling with regards to what is about to happen. The second global snakebite summit starting on May 12th, in which they will discuss how to jab everyone everywhere. Finland and Sweden applying for NATO membership in mid-May. Russia's Lavrov openly talking and warning about the risk of World War III. Germany about to supply 50 tanks to Ukraine. Israel's 74th birthday on May 14th, one day after the final day on which an 80-year generation would still be possible to complete all things mentioned in the book of Revelation that are associated with a seven-year period all the remaining week of years that are mentioned in the book of Daniel. Keep looking up. Our redemption is very close. Also, please share this with as many as you can. Blessings.